the original goal was to build a new office for ourselves. Uh, we'd been renting for decades and it was time to create our own space. We spent a few years looking for the right opportunity and finally one came up in this mixed use area and it was a great opportunity my wife and I talked about and decided to, to build something new from scratch. My name is John Matthias. I'm the Director of Matthias Architects. And I'm Nina Matthias. I'm the Head of Interior Design at Matthias Architects. And I'm John's daughter. The building's located in a mixed-use area of Brighton. It's a strip that comprises of commercial, residential and uh, retail with a really good range of cafes and food outlets. The vision was always to have the home and office in the same building and that allows us to spend more time together. It was key to us to create a, an apartment space that was inviting, welcoming, cosy, friendly, warm, all of those things so that we can enjoy our time here, um, my wife, my Cocker Spaniel and myself. A key design consideration in making this truly our home was to create a green transition from the public footpath area to front entry. It gives us a separation from the street, it softens the building, it makes it welcoming. We've created a double height spaces to allow for tree canopies and really get a green buffer between the home and the footpath. The stairs lead up to the first floor where the studio is located. Upon entering the space, you are greeted with our large entry bench, which acts as a functional space for casual meetings, but also a breakout space for our team to spread out and collaborate. So the open plan office has two meeting rooms to the right, borrowing an abundance of natural light and greenery from the north facing terrace, these rooms can be separated or opened up to create one larger space just by moving the sliding doors into the studio space. Our architectural and interior design teams work closely within the same open space. It allows us to easily interact and maintain awareness of all the projects as they develop. The apartment's separated into two distinct zones. There's the open plan living area, which features high ceilings and clear views in north direction to the terrace and in the south direction to the internal courtyard. The more intimate bedroom space has lower ceilings and softer furnishings and is the cosy, more intimate space. The materials did have an influence on the form of the building. By choosing to use concrete, we were able to create curves and texture. And by choosing to use a smaller format blockwork, we were able to create curved surfaces and uneven surfaces to create texture. A sense of quiet luxury, I think, was achieved in the apartment with the understated palette of materials and the choice of warm materials like flooring, the furnishings, window coverings. The general ambience is of a calm and uh, serene environment. One of my favourite things about being a part of this space is that it really is so tranquil and light and friendly. It really is a joy to come to work every day. When I look at the project, I guess I'm very proud that it reflects what we do as a studio and that it shows what you can do on a tight commercial site when it's uh, well considered. This video is brought to you by TAN. 
Our debut hardcover book, celebrating 10 issues of The Local Project. 10 unites the very best projects from the first 10 issues of the publication into a beautiful single volume. With over 400 pages of architecture and design from both leading and emerging creatives, the hardcover book takes readers on a curated and meditative journey. The premium paper stock of the book means 10 is an enduring addition to a coffee table or library to be enjoyed for years to come. With worldwide delivery available, have 10 delivered directly to your door. Head to the link in the video description to purchase your copy now and use the code BOOK5 at checkout for a 5% discount.